the summer just before I entered high school, I met this girl. Her name was Katya. She was one year older than me, and we never would have met if it wasn't for the Chernobyl nuclear accident. You see, she lived in Belarus, and during the summer, the pollution got pretty bad, and so there was a program to relocate children during the summer, summer months. And so my uncle and aunt, who lived in, in Quebec, volunteered to be a part of that program. And so for several summers, at least half a dozen uh, summers, she'd been going there, probably closer to 10. Um, but then when I was 15, they came to visit us in July and we were at the lake and I had the chance to meet this girl who I'd already heard so much about. And um, I was already kind of like infatuated with her because it's just like, oh wow, you know, she's from, from Europe, wow. And, um, and she was really, really amazing, really, really smart, really fun and, and thoughtful. And, and so that kind of meeting with her kind of kicked off this relationship that was really formative for my whole life, to be honest. Um, and I don't talk about it very often because it feels I, like weirdly like a cliche, well, I've got this girlfriend in Europe or, or something like that. Um, and I think at the, t at the time it was, it was also really interesting because being in high school, like so often we have people have relationships or that sort of thing that gives them, them an opportunity to learn a little bit more about themselves um, in a very practical way. And I didn't quite have that in, in the same way. Instead of learning about, um, about myself through a relationship, I, I learned about myself through the idea of relationship. And we'd write to each other and, and talk on the phone occasionally. Um, and that was kind of how we stayed connected. But at the same time, like that, that first summer, it was kind of laying the groundwork, but also another piece of that was I grew up evangelical, which I didn't realize I was evangelical at the time, but damn, you know, you look back and then it's like, oh yeah. Um, because uh, I was very concerned about her soul. And so I had to tell her about Jesus. And I was just like, well, you know, if you die, you want to get to heaven, right? So let's just do this thing where we um, admit our sins and believe in Christ's power to um, absolve us of our sins and um, confess our sins and then uh, decide this is um, what we want to do. And it's just like, I look back and I just realize, oh, that was so fear-based. And it was so much... Um, kind of just like a safety plan, you know, like when you die, you need, you just need to do this so that you, you, you know, if I don't see you in this life, you know, I'll see you in the next one. That'll be great. Um, and my view on a lot of things have changed since then, but one thing that hasn't changed is the impact that it's had on me as a person and um, how thankful I am that I had that.